Welcome to part 3 of 5 of my Game of Thrones inspired hair tutorial series. This next hairstyle has been inspired by the traditional beauty of Sansa Stark, eldest daughter of Lady Caitlin and Lord Eddard Stark. Sansa enjoys various ladylike pursuits and dreams of becoming a regal queen just like Cersei Lannister. Today I will be showing you how to recreate this braided hairstyle inspired by Sansa. To recreate this look you will need a hairbrush, a rat tail comb with a pointy tip, small hair elastics, a large hair elastic, and a sectioning clip. For added length and extra volume, I am wearing my 240 gram set of fancy hair extensions. For a complete list of tools used in today's tutorial, please see the description below. Begin by thoroughly brushing your hair from bottom to top to gently get rid of tangles. If you are wearing hair extensions like I am, you want to remove any wefts that are clipped in at the top of your head. I am removing two one and a half inch wefts that I previously placed towards the top of my head, otherwise they would be visible after I finish braiding. Next, using the tip of the rat tail comb, partition your hair on both sides of the middle part. Each section should be about two inches in width. You also want to leave about two inches of hair out of the braids that will serve as a cover up for your extensions. As you can see, I have a hair extension wet that's placed at the crown of my head. By leaving about two inches of hair down in the back and on both sides of my head, my hair extension should be covered up very well. Once you've sectioned away the left and right sections and left some hair to hide your hair extensions on both sides and in the back, tie away the hair that you are not working with into a ponytail at the back of your head. Next, use the tip of the rat tail comb to bring back the center partition in your hair and section off one of the sides with a sectioning clip so that it doesn't get in your way. At this point, you also want to make sure that your working section still has a straight partition on both sides. If you have little baby hairs around your face like I do, you definitely want to take a moment to refine this line again and use a bobby pin to pin down the little hairs while you're braiding your hair. This way, they will remain separated from your braid. Okay, now finally to the braiding. Separate a section of hair at the front and further separate it into three sections. Begin braiding a regular three-strand braid and add a small section of hair to the top strand only as you braid. This technique will create a one-sided French braid, which is a three-strand braid that remains attached to the head because it is French braided on one side. Continue to braid this way until you run out of hair to work with on the working section and then continue with a regular three-strand braid as far down as you can. Once you reach the end of the braid, secure the ends with a small hair elastic. Since we will be removing this hair elastic at the end of the tutorial, don't worry about the color. I am using a black hair elastic to secure my braid. At this point, you want to loosen up the braid and add some thickness to it by gently pulling on the sides of the braid. Great! One down and one more to go. Create the exact same one-sided French braid on the other side. Oh, and don't forget to pin down those baby hairs. All right, now you should have two braids. Bring both braids to the back of your head and create a row braid with them. All you have to do is twist both individual braids in one direction while twisting the braids around each other in the opposite direction. Here, I am twisting each individual braid to the right and then wrapping the braids around each other to the left. When you reach the ends of the braids, secure them together with two small hair elastics that are either clear or the same color as your hair, and remove the hair elastics that are keeping each individual braid together. Now all you have to do is undo the braids at the ends, remove the bobby pins if you used any, and untie your beautiful locks of hair. And there you have a beautiful braided hairstyle inspired by ladylike Sansa Stark. I think this hairstyle is such a fierce, strong look and I would definitely rock it for a girl's night out. How about you? Let me know where you would rock this look in the comments below. Try this look at home and don't forget to let me know how it worked for you. I have two more Game of Thrones hairstyle recreations for you so stay tuned my beautiful friends. Did you like this hair tutorial and would like to see more videos on how to style and care for your hair? Well then subscribe to our YouTube channel and kindly click on the like button down below. 
See you soon.